Hi there, it looks like I'm live. My name is Roger Cox, and I, uh, I help people. I help brand new, well, not just brand new, but new network marketers who are trying to learn how to build their business. I help them to get past some of the pitfalls that for sure is going to, to come upon them. And in fact, I have a whole blog uh, centered around this whole idea of helping new network marketers, and that's at www.rogercox.net if you would like to check that out. So the, got a couple of topics I want to talk about today, they're, and they're, they're, they're kind of related. And I think it'll help out a lot of you new network marketers, because you're for sure, I can guarantee you're going to come across this, and you're, you're probably going to struggle with it. New network marketers, when they start, you know, they're, they've, they've got this new paradigm thinking, they're going, to, they're going to solve their financial problems, they've got this product that's just phenomenal, that's super, and that everybody's going to want it, and they're just they're going to make a lot of money and so they get this enthusiasm and this excitement and they go out and they begin to market their business and uh, they're they're on fire for a while but what a lot of times happens is they start getting some rejection you're familiar with that right people the, the people that you thought were going to support you uh, they, they tell you no they say no I'm not interested and for a lot of new network marketers that can be devastating that can just really stop them in their tracks right there They've been told that they're, this, this product and this opportunity, opportunity that they have is going to change their life. And so they, they get their first reject, few rejections and a lot of them will push on for a little bit, but then will eventually stop and quit and say that network marketing doesn't work for them. So here's, here's the thing, here's, here's the number one, well, here's one of the things that sets that up. Too often, we as network marketers, when, we're, when we are recruiting other people, too often we give this impression that the, our, our clients and our pro, or the people that we're talking to are going to go into this and they are not going to have to sell at all because the product is so good that people are just going to want to buy it, they're going to, they need it, they're going to buy it, and all you have to do is to share the product. And so our new network marketers go into that with that concept, and when it doesn't work out for them that way, <laughs> in most cases it doesn't, uh, it's, it's demoralizing sometimes and it's discouraging. Because the fact is, no matter what your sponsor or your upline may tell you, uh, your product, no matter how great or phenomenal it is, not everybody's going to want that. Okay, Not everybody needs that. It's not going to sell itself. If you are talking, if most of your friends and your family are people who, for example, let's take an example. Say you have a skincare product and it's a really good super duper one that will, will do all these things and it you know it might cost you know thirty forty fifty dollars for a jar of it if your friends and your family are not used to paying that much for skin care that they're they're used to paying you know five or ten dollars they are not your market they are not who you need to be marketing to because they're not going to want your product it's too expensive for them so not everybody in the world is your is your market not everybody is going to want to buy what, what you have. And so that's where a lot of new network marketers, they, they get this rejection right off the bat because they think the product or this opportunity that they have is going to solve the problems of everybody that they know. All they got to do is get people to see it and to, to listen to a presentation. And, and the fact is that not everybody is your, is your target market. You know, not everybody's going to want what you have. So what you have to do then is to find out, find those who are your target market. And in a lot of cases, that is not going to be your family and friends. You know, you, you may have a lot of family and friends, but a very small percentage of those are going to be in your target market. They are not the ones that you need to be marketing to because in most cases, they're, they're, they're not wanting what you have. They're not needing what you have. I see some people who join me. I'm sorry I missed that before. Victoria and Kendra, thanks for joining. You can pick up the replay a little later because I, I've, uh, I'm partway through this. And you missed my good stuff. You missed my good stuff. Okay, so back, get my mind back on track here. So your, your product or your opportunity, um, when you go out there and you're new and you, you jump on there and you're, you're trying to convince your friends and they're not buying it, they're not, they're not accepting it, for a lot of new network marketers, that's devastating for them. That's, it's, it's discouraging because they're, they're seeing that this, this is not going to be as easy as what it appeared like it was going to be. So the solution to that, you have to find your target market. You have to find the people who are 
in the market for what you have to offer them. And there's, there's various ways that, that you, can, uh, you can do that. One is you can go out and meet new people. You have to find a lot of people because the truth is in network marketing, you have to talk to a lot of people. Just for that fact that not everybody is, is your target market. You have to talk to a lot of people to find those who are. And the problem that a lot of new network marketers fall into is they start out with a lot of enthusiasm and gusto and they talk to all their friends and neighbors and they've all, you know, most of them have told them no. And then they've run out of people to talk to. They have no more warm market. And so they don't know what to do. What do I do from here? I've talked to everybody I know. Nobody, nobody wants it. I think I'm going to just have to quit. And so that's what they do because they don't know how to find those other people. So that's the number one of the number one things that, that stops network marketers in their, in their tracks after they've gotten started so well. And then they hit this, they hit this brick wall that uh, they, they don't know how to get around. They have to learn how to find the people who are in their target market. And we can help with that, but, but enough on that later. The other thing that, that ties in with that then is, is that a lot of new network marketers, they'll start out with, with gusto. They're, they're finding people to, to talk to. They're, they're, they're talking to people about their product and they're getting rejected and they, they run out of their target market. Or maybe they don't run out of their target market. Maybe they just, they're talking to everybody, but they're not getting any good results. Everybody's telling them no. And so what happens a lot of times is uh, they'll start out really strong. When, when you first get your product and you're a brand new distributor, what's the first thing you do? You talk about it. You talk to a lot of people and you're, you're on fire and you're, you're doing a lot of activity to bring in, uh, to bring in these, this, this revenue. And then, so you do that for a week or two. And then what a lot of times happens is you stop, you get tired, you burn out or whatever the case might be. You, 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 you work really hard for a week or two and then you take off the next month or two. And then you say, oh, I got to get started on my business again. I got to do this. So you work really hard again for another week or two and then you take off for a while. The lack of consistency. Is what that also ties in with not be having find, finding people to talk to, because if you had a whole lot of people that you could talk to, if you had this list of people who are in your target market, and who have a who stand a good chance of buying what you had to offer, then when you are talking to people, and you have a whole lot of people to talk to, you, you usually don't. Um, what what I'm trying to say is that at that point, you you still have a lot of people to talk to, and you won't stop. You'll just keep going. But the inconsistency is what kills you because you got to start all over again. And that the stopping and going is, is what's going to kill you. So to wrap up, the two things that, that are, you know, they, they kind of go together with new network marketers and what will a lot of times will stop them. Number one, they quickly run out of people to talk to because they think they come in thinking that everybody is their product, is their, is their customer. Everybody's going to want what they have. Everybody's going to want to get into this opportunity because if you can just see it, you can see that you're really dumb if you don't, you know, get into this because of all the benefits. And the fact is that, you know, a lot of people, that's not one of their values. That's just not what they're interested in. So the, the new network marketer comes in thinking that everybody's going to sign up. Everybody's going to be a customer. And uh, when, it's, when they run through their list of friends and their family, then they've got to find someone else to talk to. And that is hard for a lot of people because they don't know where to begin. They don't know where to talk to people. They don't know how to find people. And once they find them, they don't know how to talk to them. And so there's, there's ways around that. And you go to my blog and I can help you out with that or just get in contact with me. And then in addition to that, that goes along with that is that when you've, when you've worked really hard for a while and you're not getting any results, it's very easy to stop or to take a break. And when you do that, you lose all the momentum. You lose your consistency. And that is what's key with network marketing is the consistency. You, you got to keep going. You got to keep even if it's just one few things, a couple things a day. You've got to do something every day to keep the momentum going. Because if you stop for a long for a period of time, for a week or two or three, then you're starting all over and you just don't you just don't get the momentum to get your stuff going. So that's my video. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is Roger Cox. I have a web I have a blog at www.rogercox. And what I do is I help new network marketers, especially, and it doesn't matter what company you're with. I don't care what company you're with. These principles will apply to any network marketing company, and I'll, I work with all of them. I teach new network marketers some of the pitfalls and how to get around them. I teach them how to find people, particularly on Facebook. That's my specialty. Finding people on Facebook, becoming friends with them and talking to them, developing relations, relationships, 
finding if they are in your target market, because most of them aren't, and that's okay. You still make a lot of friends. You just talk to people on Facebook. Maybe they are in your target market, maybe they're not. If they are, fine. If they're not, you just got a friend. How do you lose? It's a win-win. So talk to me, connect with me, and we'll see how we can help you. You have a great day, and I'm going to go eat some pizza. Mm, talk to you later. Bye.